Hi everybody, my name's Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Ian. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel, and we thank you guys very, very much for hanging with us. It is a first day on the Creator's calendar. It is a day of the week. It is uh, the day after Shabbat. And for those of you who celebrated Shabbat, awesome. Congratulations. Good job. That is a one of those things that is, if you are not a full-on Torah keeper, it is the beginning of Torah keeping. It is the beginning of of the way to the kingdom and the way to the kingdom is not paved with a sin card it is not paved with a um once saved always saved it's not paved with all of the religious indoctrination that we've been indoctrinated into it is paved by those who seek and follow the first five books of scriptures genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy and those who have the faith of our Messiah, you guys know him as Jesus Christ. His name is Yahushua Hamashiach. It is the, there's no J's in Hebrew. The letter was not invented till the year 1525. And so we, we don't have the, a man's name is Jesus. His name, the Hebrew man's name was Yahushua. So gentlemen, how you guys doing? Good. I got everybody, Cade took off on me. Coming back there, buddy. Okay, so we got, um, we're heading into this work week. Jade, we are, um, what are you guys up to? What's happening? How you guys doing? Good. Anything shaking? Um, just dog baths today. Dog baths. Anything going on, Eli? Farm stuff. Farm yeah. stuff? Yeah. All right, hang tight. I'm going to wait for Cade. All right, waited for Cade. Um, made it. Uh, how you doing, Cade? Good. Everything good? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so now we got the group together. Guys, what you're looking at right here is you're looking at Yah's scriptures. Um, this is a limited edition. Uh, we hope there will be many more after this, but for right now, this is a limited edition. And for every scriptures that people are able to get, we are able to get one full scriptures into our brothers and sisters in chains. You guys can get the free versions of all of this. It exists at yahscriptures.com. It's right here. And just put .com at the end of Yah's scriptures. And that is where you will find the free scriptures in the PDF as well as the Apocrypha. You also have the, the Google app. Google app is, is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. It is a, an incredible app. It's what we've been reading out of. It's what we read out of every Shabbat. And it's completely free of charge. And so everything we have other than the, the hard copy is free of charge. If you guys want to send these out via email, you can get these out via email. They're small enough that you can do that. And... <clears throat> This is a, uh, a tremendously good book. And again, it's limited edition, so you guys will probably want to get these because uh, I believe they will probably disappear fairly fast. The back of the book says Yahushua, and this is what the back looks like. And now, today is a very important day in our reading because for those who've been reading with us, and we've started at the beginning of the book, and we're all the way down here. Um, Jade, take us back to Saul and take us through this real quick. Today is the day we lose the right-hand side of this. Today we lose all of the northern tribe of Israel. Everybody heads into captivity today. Um, and so we're going to find out the final straw that broke the camel's back when it came to our creator and his patience with this particular group of people. Okay, what do you got, Jade? All right, so we had Saul, who was the first king. He was good at first, and he sinned, and he gave the reign to David and his, and his generations. And David had David was a very good king. He sinned a little bit, but did really good. He was the, probably the best king that they ever had. And there's Solomon, who was the wisest of all the kings, but he, he turned to all the women he had. He turned to worshiping other, other gods. And then he had some Rechabam. He was just completely evil. He did evil and lost half the kingdom. Only had Judah and the other ten tribes went to someone else. And then the, they split up tribes and they keep sinning. And they we're down to this king now, where the kings keep giving parts of the house of Yahuwah away so that they can try to appease the people that come after them instead of. Going to Yahuwah for help, they give the house of Yahuwah away. They take strip the gold, they strip the silver, they strip the bronze, and they give it away to these people. And they uh, instead of taking it out of their own house, their own possessions, they take it from Yahuwah, and they keep worshiping idols, and they're all doing sin, and they it just won't stop it. Yep, and that is a great lowdown on that, guys. the the northern the the northern kingdom, the ten tribes of Israel. This is what I keep talking about: is that. There's 10 tribes that have been dispersed into captivity that never, ever came back. And we have prophecy throughout the book of Hosea that it talks about these kingdom, these, these northern tribes coming back. And it's going to be something at the end of time is what this is always talking about. 
So we always think that more than likely you don't have to be part of the northern tribes um, because it does all you really need to do is obey the laws, statutes and commandments. And it doesn't matter what tribe you're from, no matter what world you're from, no matter what people you're from. There's one Torah for Yah's people and there's one Torah for strangers. If you want to be a part of the kingdom of our creator, then the Torah is found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. And so here we are. Let's get rolling through this right here as everybody heads off to their new homes. Okay. In the 12th year of Achaz, sovereign of Yehuda, Hosea, son of Elah, began to reign over Yisrael and Shomeron for nine years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, but not as the sovereigns of Yisrael who were before him. Shalom and answer, sovereign of Ashur, came up against him, and Hosea became his servant and rendered him a present. But the sovereign of Ashur found a conspiracy in Hosea. <clears throat> Excuse me. For he had sent messengers to So, sovereign of Mitzram, and had not brought a present to the sovereign of Ashur, as year by year. And the sovereign of Ashur shut him up and bound him in prison. And the sovereign of Ashur went through all the land and went up to the Shomeron and besieged it for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, the sovereign of Ashur captured Shomeron and exiled Yisrael to Ashur and settled them in Kalak and Kabor, the river of Gozen, and the cities of the Madites. Now this came to be because the children of Yisrael had sinned against Yahuwah of their Elohim, who had brought them up out of the land of Mitram from under the hand of Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitram, and revered other mighty ones, and walked in the laws of the Gentiles, whom Yahuwah had dispossessed from before the children of Israel, and of the sovereigns of Israel that they had made. And the children of Israel secretly did matters against Yahuwah their Elohim that were not right, and they built for themselves high places in all their cities, from watchtower unto the walled city, and put up for themselves pillars and ashram on every high hill and, and under every green tree, and burned incense there on all the high places, like the Gentiles whom Yahuwah had removed from their presence. And they did evil matters to provoke Yahuwah, and serve the idols of which Yahuwah had said to them, Do not do this. And Yahuwah warned Yisrael and Yahuda through all his, of his Nebium, and every seer saying, Turn back from your evil ways, and guard my commands and my laws according to all the Torah which I commanded your father and which I sent to you by my servants, the Nebium. Okay, um, let's talk about this a little bit. Um, guys, what's, what's going on right here? Uh, these people have now going into captivity. Yep. So and these kings are evil, uh, less evil, but then he became servant to the king of Ashur, which is Shalom, I answer. And then he found out that Hosea, this king, was going to, he sent people to Mitraim to call for help. And he found out about it, that he was trying to go behind his back and trying to take over the reign of Shalom, I answer. And so now they're going into captivity for that. Yeah, and this is the same, verse 13 is the same thing that is for all of us. Right? Our creator has said this from the beginning of the book all the way to the end of the book, and it's still relevant today. Guys, all of us, we need to turn from our evil ways, and we need to guard the commands and Yah's laws according to all the Torah, which he commanded all of our fathers, which he sent to all of us by the servants, by the prophets. And so this is, this is the same thing that goes on today. Most people don't care about the commands. Most people don't care about it. All they have is they have the Jesus. And that's all they have. And when they have the Jesus, it's all about the grace. And it's all about there's, there's, there's nothing that can cannot save them. And when you have the, the Jesus, like they have, that's, their, that's everything, right? And that is not what it says in scriptures. Um, our Messiah, his name is Yahushua. And we want to have Yahushua. We want to have him as our king and as our, as our um, leader, for the kingdom to come. He's our qualified priest. He's our qualified sacrifice. He's our qualified way forward. And it's not just the Jesus, right? This is Messiah Yahushua keeps the laws. He tells us to keep the laws. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. He tells us very clearly that you will be sent to hell if you are breaking Torah. But now we have 10 tribes. They're now in captivity. And these are the 10 tribes that never came back. And so because they didn't come back, we are more than likely these people. But it doesn't matter again, like I said. 14. Anyone have anything on this? Um, no, I think that is a hard. I mean, when you know who is a prophet to these people, they never listened. And so they had the, they had the chance. It's not like they didn't have chances. They had hundreds of chances. Every single king had a chance. And 
Here they are going to captivity. Yeah, but we don't. What What's the gig? We don't have prophets today that are sitting there telling us this. Yeah, but we have we have the Bible. And we know it's right and wrong. We have we, the, we, have, we, we have, have the Kodesh words that have been presented to us and left before us. And these Kodesh words. We have 120 years. Yeah, we have 120 years to figure this out, right? To to figure out the walk forward. Okay, 14. But they did not listen and harden their necks like the necks of their fathers, who did not put their trust in Yahuwah their Elohim and rejected his laws and his covenant that he had made with their fathers and his witnesses, which he had witnessed against them and went after worthlessness and became worthless. And after the Gentiles who were all around them, of whom Yahuwah had commanded them, do not to do like them. So if all these became like useless after the cross, these people here that had to go to captivity and died for this, they'd be real mad about this. Yeah, you know, that's the, that's the thing about religion. They, they have a saying that, um, the Jesus died on the cross to free us so we could have um, unclean food could be made clean. That's what people will literally tell you. Uh, that Jesus came to destroy the Torah, even though he says, I did not come to destroy the Torah. Now we can live like the Gentiles that they're getting taken away for being. Yeah, and so here we are. This is where we don't want to be, guys. If you've woke, awoken in your captivity, in our captivities, and we're, we're not... Like captivities of these days, but we're still in captivity. We're in a land that is not a Torah-filled land. We are in a place that is not Torah-observant, and we're all looking towards the kingdom to come. We're looking for a better way because this world is not good. Okay, 16. And they left all the commands of Yahuwah their Elohim and made for themselves a molded image, two calves, and made an Asherah, and bowed themselves to all the hosts of the Shammai and served Baal, and caused their sons and daughters. All right, sorry, guys. This is the good part. And they served Baal on the end of 16 and caused their sons and daughters to pass through the fire and practiced divination and sorcery and sold themselves to do evil in the eyes of Yahuwah to provoke him. So Yahuwah is very enraged with Israel and removed them from his presence. None was left but the tribe of Yahuda alone. Now, yeah. Yahuda is still evil, but they've done less evil to this point. It's interesting they don't um, bring Benjamin into this, right? Well, yeah, I guess Benjamin kind of just got, like, grabbed into Yahuda, and, like, he's not Yahuda. Benjamin was so small that they just, uh, yeah, he's there too, but we'll just mention Yahuda. Okay, 19. Yahuda also did not guard the commands of Yahuwah their Elohim, but walked in the laws of Yisrael, which they made. <clears throat> um, that, uh, it sounded, that sounds bad. That did sound weird, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, so Yahuda also did not guard the commands of Yahuwah, the Elohim, but walked in the laws of Yisrael, which they made. Yeah, so Yisrael. Their own laws, right? Yeah, so they'd be, they'd be, this is Gentile Israel. This is like God's people Israel. Yeah, and the laws which Yisrael had made. And so they made their own laws and like Baal worshippers and child killers. Probably, yeah, all sorts of things we can't mention on YouTube. Okay. And Yahuwah rejected all the seed of Yisrael and afflicted them and gave them into the hand of plunders until he cast them out of his presence, out from his presence. For he tore Yisrael from the house of Dawid, and they made Yerobam, son of Nevet, sovereign. And Yerobam drove Yisrael from following Yahuwah and made them commit a great sin. More degree of sins. These guys are just there. Yerobam was the very start of it. And, you know, by the time you got down to Acab, that's went really up at yeah. And the children of Yisrael walked in all the sins of Yerobam, which he did. They did not turn away from them until Yahuwah removed Yisrael from his presence, as he spoke by all his servants in Nevi'im. So Yisrael was exiled from their land to Asher, as it is to this day. And and that's that is one of these things. Um, Yisrael was exiled from their land to Asher, and to, as it this is it's still to this day. It is to this day. Okay, twenty four. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. One sec. All right. And the sovereign of Ashur brought people from Babel and from Kutha and from Awa and from Kamath and from Sepharwayan and placed them in the cities of Shomeron instead of the children of Yisrael. And they took possession of Shomeron and dwelt in its cities. And it came to be at the beginning of their dwelling that they did not revere Yahuwah. And Yahuwah sent lions among them, which kept on slaying among them. Now, um, is this real lions or is like people like lions? Like the lions actually come to eat these people. Yeah, this is lions. What kind of lions? Yeah, this is lions. These things. Be a metaphor, huh? Be a metaphor. <laughs> no. I don't think we got metaphor. In no, I think he just I, there, he didn't care about anything that's going on, so he just sent the lions to go take him out. That's so. all. That's all I do. Hungry lions, and they spoke to the sovereign of Ashur, saying, "The nations whom you have removed and placed in the cities of Shomron do not know the right ruling of the Elohim of the land." Um, this is, and you know, he says the right ruling of the Elohim, not. Not of Elohim, of land, right? They're, they just, they're like, there's other, they, they yeah. think there's other mighty ones, right? They don't know what, what's going on. To the, these there are, because the, the, from Asher, they have all these different yeah. idols and words. They have Baal and all. But this wouldn't be, this w- wouldn't technically be a uppercase Elohim. 
<clears throat> I don't know why this one. Um, we do know right ruling is uppercase because that's Yah's right ruling. Um, but it was, talks about of the Elohim of the land. That's the thing, uh, Yahuwah. Huh? It would that it would have to be talking about uh, Yahuwah, but I mean the way they say it, it could be talking about all of their stuff because of the Elohim. But we'll leave it at that. And he has set lions among them, and see they are slain among them because they do not know the right ruling of the Elohim of the land. And the sovereign of Esher commanded, saying, "Send one of the Kohenim who you exiled from there to go there. Let him go and dwell there, and let him teach them the right ruling of the Elohim of the land." So they had a lion problem, and they sent in the priest. Yeah, yeah. Yahuwah sent bees and horns out to try out the rest of the They sent the lions to try out the Israelites out. Yeah, right on them. Okay, and one of the Kohenim, who they had exiled, exiled from Shomeron, came and dwelt in Beth-el, and taught them how to revere Yahuwah. But every nation was making mighty ones of its own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Shomerites had made, every nation in the cities where they dwelt. And the men of Babel made Sokoth, Benoth, and the men of Kuth made Nergo, and the men of Kamath made Ashima, Ashima, and the Awites made Nig, Niv, Kaz, and Tartak, and the Sephirites burned their children in the fire to Adramel, Adramelech, and Anal, Anna, Amalek, Anamalek. Let's try that one, Eli. Three. Anamalek. <laughs> the mighty one of the Sephirim. So we got all sorts of mighty ones, right? And they actually have like they, they, they have names for these guys. I mean, these guys are these are uh, you know they, they they burn their children in the fire. Now um, we've discussed this before about how my bad parenting isn't, but yet I have not run you guys through the fire. So I got to have one at least one credit, right? Can't yeah. can't can't throw me down to the bus for that. Yeah, no Moloch. No no Moloch. Yeah, I haven't I haven't sent my kids into there. Okay, um, thirty two. They also revered Yahuwah. And from every class they made for themselves priests of the high places who offered for them in the house of the high places. They were revering Yahuwah, and they were serving their own mighty ones according to the ruling of the nations from among whom they had been exiled. Send the lions again. It, nobody figures this out, do they? To this day they are doing according to the former rulings. They are not revering Yahuwah, nor do they follow their laws or their right rulings or the Torah uh, and command which Yahuwah had commanded the children of Jacob, whose name he made Yisrael. With whom Yahuwah had made a covenant and commanded them, saying, Do not revere other mighty ones, nor do bow down to them, nor serve them, nor slaughter to them. But Yahuwah, who brought you up from the land of Mitzram with great power and with an outstretched arm, him you shall revere, and to him you shall bow yourselves, and to him you shall slaughter. And guard to do forever the laws, and the right rulings, and the Torah, and the command which he wrote for you, and do not revere other mighty ones. And do not forget about the covenant that I have made with you. And do not revere other mighty ones. And revere Yahuwah your Elohim, so that he delivers you from the hand of all your enemies. But they did not obey and did according to their former ruling. So these nations were revering Yahuwah and served their carved images, both their children and their children's children. And as their fathers did, they are doing to this day. And they're probably still doing to this day, technically. Now we have a command about revering Yahuwah, right? So it sounds like these guys were, were getting it through this command, right? They, they, it seems like they, they revered Yahuwah. So what's the problem? They're trying to serve two gods. Yeah, there's multiple mighty ones, right? They're not yeah. just revering Yahuwah. They're, they're doing all sorts of evil stuff, and they have all these. They're killing off their kids. They're, they're bowing down to other things. Um, and now they are gone. They are completely, um, the northern tribe is kapush. It is gone. They are all stuck into captivity. Uh, generations will be uh, growing up in outside land. And these are all the people that Messiah Yahushua talks about who are the scattered sheep. This is the scattered sheep of the house of Yisrael. When Messiah says he's, he's not going only to the house of Yisrael, right? And a lot of people don't understand that. Messiah, in fact, Rabbi Shaul, Paul, there you go. Leo's going with me. He says, Rabbi Shaul. Um, he was uh, he was doing the same thing. He was That's why everybody, the, the Christians all think that uh, Paul went and got a whole bunch of Gentiles converted. Like these guys have a tremendous amount of gods. So there's not a really good chance that these people, these foreigners would want a Hebrew uh, Hebrew Elohim. And um, when, when, when the, the people by the thousands were being so-called converted by Paul, these were all the lost sheep of, of the northern tribe of Israel. These were all people who already knew what the laws were supposed to be. The, that's why when Messiah came and Paul was over there, people were coming to him in droves. And it wasn't the pagans. It wasn't the people, uh, the Gentiles. They weren't all converting 
to Brother Shaul. They were coming over because they had already been part of all these tribes. They had a, a genealogy. They had a tribe they are from, and they knew all of this. And so that is the story of Yisrael, and um, I guess that's that. Anyone have anything? Uh, keep the commands. Don't end up playing these guys. Yeah, keep the commands of our Creator. Let's let's stop this broken wheel of... of uh, keep going into captivity you know we are a a we can be a coveted people a covenant people means we're, we're obeying the laws statutes and commandments of our creator and the laws are not hard to keep they're not bondage they're not something that you can't do and yes we can keep them we can't keep them perfectly but we can definitely give it the best shot we can because that's what we're told to do so with that i hope you guys have a wonderful day much love to you all until we meet again all right we're out all right,